Hey guys, it's Aaron. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing the first of. Uh, hey guys, it's Aaron. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing the first of the walkthroughs for uh, the new game Duelist. Uh, we're going to be doing the first of the training grounds today, the Elemental Secrets. So these are, these are designed just to teach you all of the abilities on the cards um, and help you get comfortable with all of them and help you win your games. So I definitely recommend going through these first and as more and more open up as you play through, uh, continuing to do them to hone your skills. So the first one we're going to do is learn flying to be defeat the Abyssinian general. Um, and I'm just going to do this kind of, this is the first one, so I'm just going to kind of do this the way that a lot of people would just kind of do it. Look at your cards first. Uh, two damage to all minions. Sweet. And give a friendly minion three health. No problem. So if you look at these guys, they've all got less than two health. So that's pretty awesome. Let's just do this. It's going to be really easy. Oh, snap. What, what happened? Our guy's dead. Now there's no way we're going to get be able to be able to get over there. Um, what happened is this one, you got to be really careful, it says all minions. So that's going to do, those cards worded that way are going to do damage to our guys as well as to the enemies. So simple solution, we're going to give a friendly minion plus three health, which is going to give more than enough hit points to survive that blast. We're going we're gonna to lay it down. And he's, he's fine now, he's still got two health. And flying means they can move to any spot on the board uh, during their move phase. So we're gonna quickly take them out. All right, easy. There's our first one down, and this is a great way coming through these right at the beginning. It's a great way to get some gold and get a few packs opened up uh, and some extra extra cards to help you build your decks. So we're gonna head into the next one now, and we're gonna learn airdrop. This is a pretty cool ability. It allows you to spawn your guys on any anywhere on the board. Normally, when you spawn your guys, you can only spawn them touching uh, touching one of your minions or your general. So let's see what we got. Deal three damage to a minion or general. Reactivate an exhausted friendly minion with three or less attack. And airdrop. So this guy's only got two attacks, so that's great. He's going to be able to. We're going to be able to use him for that activation. So let's start with this one. We're going to airdrop him right at the back, right against the general, reactivate him so he can make the attack. We're going to do three damage, we'll take him down to two life. And then, really easy, we're going to use that to attack. And he's going to kill our minion, but we really don't care because the challenge is over. Great, next up we got Call to Action. So we're gonna learn Opening Gambit. So this ability, as soon as you spawn your char your minions, they're gonna do whatever that is, uh, which is really gr a really great way to, to get some kind of sneak things in, because once you spawn your guys, you can't use them for till the next turn. Uh, so, and if you notice, just right on the next, right beside your card, it says, tells you what that ability does. So this one triggers an effect when you're summoned. So he's going to dispel one nearby space, and he's going to deal one damage to a minion or general. Um, so let's have a look. What are these things? Oh, shadow creep. Deals damage equal to the number of shadow creeps faced at the end of the owner's turn. So you really don't want to leave your guy standing on that. It's going to be some bad news. And then, uh, so this one, when he's summoned, he gains plus two, plus two for each shadow creep. So there's eight of those on the board, so he's getting plus 16, plus 16, which is really not so good. So let's just let's just go ahead and remove that effect from him. Make him a not so scary, not so scary. And this one, you don't really need to summon him anywhere. He can doesn't really matter where he goes. Just deal that one damage. Now that he's gone, we'll walk our, mini, our general forward. Just give him, lay this back down. Great, easy peasy. Just gonna keep pushing through. Here's our next one. We learned Frenzy. So this ability is gonna allow our guy to attack anyone that's in contact with him. So this guy, this is the one with Frenzy, which is great. Let's have a look what we got. 
Deal 2 damage to enemy general, restore 3 health to your general. That's a pretty sweet card in any situation. And give all friendly minions plus 2 attack this turn. Okay, awesome. So let's start out with this. I'm just gonna reduce that general's health, get some extra get some extra life. Not that it really matters. So we're gonna add plus attack to all our guys. Walk him up. And as you'll see his frenzy gets three kills for one. Pretty good trade. And then our one ones are now three ones, so we're just gonna walk them all forward. And that will just chip them down. Alright, that's great. Really easy to complete. Now we're on our last one. Crushing Reach. So learn range to defeat the Vanar General in one turn. So it looks like we got two range guys here, a 3-2 and a 1-2. It's going to need to take out a 4-3, a 1-3, and then that. So our general becomes 10-10. That's pretty awesome, especially if your life is below 10, which it's not currently. But if you sp in a multiplayer battle, if you spawn with 25 life, you're probably not going to want to use that right away. Uh, give a friendly minion plus 2, plus 2. So we get two options here. It's one of those two. Um, the obvious choice is to do this, however, that'll make him a 5-3, but then you won't be able to get through both of the minions, so we're going to raise this guy up to a 3-4, use him to kill that guy, use him to kill that guy, make our general super strong, then we'll just walk him forward, smash him. And that's it. The first five challenges are complete. Um, so that's a quick 50 gold. That's halfway to your first pack, which is awesome. And that's it. Our next video is going to be the Realm of Dreams. So please tune into that. Thanks for tuning in.